Hey guys, made some progress on my clock. It's actually displaying the real time now. As you can see, I don't have room for the seconds. So I try to be creative and come up with a way to display seconds. So as you can see now, the line's pretty small because we're probably like at 10 seconds after 10.52. And as it gets closer and closer to uh, 10.53, those two lines will get wider and wider. So I thought it was a good compromise because I really don't want to make the font any smaller because I like them big. Typically a clock project like this would have an RTC, real-time clock module, and I want to do something different. So what I did is instead of uh, having an RTC in here, as you can see there's nothing but an Arduino back there, I am using that ESP8266 as my RTC. So every 15 seconds right now, it's configurable of course, he actually goes to the internet and gets the time from the internet and then every 250 millisecond the Arduino will ask the ESP what time it is and he will use the last time that he gets from the internet and add how long ago that time <laughs> it's kind of confusing and it, it has to add how long ago he got that time from the internet and that will be the real time right now and so that's how it actually keeps track of time and it seems to be working pretty well. The two of them are talking to each other using serial port. This switch here, connect the two together or not connect the two together because I still have to be able to program this. I have a USB right here. To be able to program this, I have an FTDI right here. Next, I'm going to try to build a PCB, a custom PCB for this. So my plan is that the whole thing should be this size. The clock will be exactly this size and I will be able to put everything on the back because there's plenty of room on the back as you can see and there will be a custom PCB probably only about maybe that big that will have the Arduino and the ESP8266 right here and I think that should be all I need maybe a power regulator there's plenty of room here so I'm gonna learn how to use Eagle CAD build me a custom PCB send it out to OSH Park and see how it goes I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.